Welcome back by another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a transfer outfit. So this glitch works for every platform, the next gen and the old gen. For the people that are asking themselves why I was away for a week, I was working on my logo, on some merch and more coming soon. But for now, I really missed you guys, so I thought I'm gonna make a video again. For this outfit tutorial, you gotta delete all your saved outfits and you only can keep the outfit on that you wanna keep. So for me, that's gonna be the outfit with the gun belt because I don't wanna lose that outfit. I'll be also using the gun belt for this glitch, so if you want to know how to get the gun belt, then I will leave the link of that video for you in the description. So the next step that I'll be showing you counts only for the people on the next gen. Open up your pause menu, then go to settings, go to controls and make sure that you set your targeting mode to assisted aim fully. You can change your targeting mode in story mode or in creator mode. Once you got that settled, make your way over here to manage characters or to swap characters. So for the transfer glitch, it's very important to have your female in slot number one and your male in slot number two. You can choose to make a new character. If it asks you for this alert, just accept it. So the only thing you gotta do here is just save and continue. So when you spawn into a new session, open up your pause menu and check if you see a clothing store. And if that's not the case, you can make your way over to another session. Make your way over here to the clothing store, then go to the top section. Now make your way over to party t-shirt and put on the burgundy garden short sleeve number 95. Make also sure that it's closed, so if it's open, you can open up your interaction menu, go to style and set your jacket from open to closed. Then go to sport shorts and choose the tropical print running number 38. Buy sneakers, choose number 2, the pink plain high tops. By the clothes section, choose number 12, the light woodland tactical. You can now save this outfit in slot 2 as outfit number 1. Now make your way over to leather jacket and choose number 50. The leopard leather fur jacket. Then over here by tank tops, you can choose the yellow stripe tank top number 22. Now make your way over to the chains and choose number 50, the platinum curb chain. You can now save this outfit in slot free as outfit number 2. So what you're gonna do is open up your interaction menu, then go to inventory and buy yourself some full ammunition. Then go back to your interaction menu and take the easy way out. So when you spawn back, you can open up your pause menu and make your way over to the Rockstar Creator. Now click on create race, then click on tutorial and accept this alert. Open up your pause menu and make your way over to manage or to swap characters. So now comes a very important step, you can now delete your secondary character, but be really careful with it that you don't accidentally delete your first character. For the people on the old gen, you can now back down to the story mode. For the people on the next gen, you gotta make sure that you join a friend that is in a different targeting mode than you are. If you don't have a friend to join, you can join my discord, check the link in the description for that. There's also another option, you can join Anawalk 1v5, so I'll be doing that right now. Anawalk is like a bot that you can always join for these type of glitches. When it shows you this alert, just accept it. So you should spawn in story mode right now. Open up your pause menu and make your way over to any random online session. So when you spawn back into online, you can make your way over to any random clothing store. Now go to any section and save your current outfit. Now make your way over to the ugly shoes and choose the lavender uglies and socks, number 29. Then make your way over to bikini bottoms and choose the white bikini bottom, number 18. 
And by the top section, you can make your way over to the black bikini top and choose number 27. By the glove section, choose the white cotton gloves number 53. If you got like a chain on or whatever, you can remove it. So what you now gotta do is open up your pause menu, then make your way over to jobs, go to play jobs and go to Rockstar Created. You can now start the versus job into the wild. If this method got patched, you can always use the normal classic method with point and shoot and it's a G thing. So just to make sure, I will leave the links of both of the jobs for you in the description and I will leave the link of the guide of that for you also in the description. I got a lot of videos with the old method, but this is like a temporary method that you can use. So what you gotta do is make your way over to clothing and set it on player owned outfits. Then confirm the settings and invite your friend for it or somebody else. So like I said, if you don't have any friends to play with, then you can join my discord. Now switch your current outfit two times to the right and ready up to play. So the only thing you now gotta do is open up your interaction menu and then go to style, go to accessory and change your random gear like a rebreather or an earpiece or whatever. So once you got that, you can quit the mission to your phone. So when you're back in online, you can remove the rebreather or the earpiece and you can save the outfit temporary in slot number one. You can now also delete your component slots. I equip a heist cover roll, so I'm already in my wardrobe because I already got these items, but if you don't have it, you can get it by the clothing store. So now I'll be making my way over to the telescope. We're gonna do the telescope glitch, so what you gotta do is run to it, spam right on the d-pad and spam the x button and hold your interaction menu. Then choose your first outfit and walk away. You can now save this outfit in your same outfit slot. Then open up your interaction menu and spam on that same outfit for 20 seconds. After 20 seconds you should see an orange save icon and if you see that, that means that the game has saved. You can now close your application and restart it again. When you're back in online, you can open up your interaction menu and spam again on the same outfit for 20 seconds. When you see the orange save icon again, you're doing the glitch correctly, now open up your pause menu and start any mission of Rockstar Created. You can start the job on your own. And when you spawn into the job, you should spawn without that grey vest on. Do you spawn for an example differently with a scruffy mask on and then you gotta restart your game and try again? Now make your way over to any random emanation store and save your current outfit in the same outfit slot. You can now quit the mission to your phone. So when you're back in online, you can equip the outfit with the gun belt on it. If you want to use any other belt, that's also fine. You can check my playlist of all the belts that you can get in the game. You can now start the first job into the wild again. Make sure that you set the clothing again to player owned outfits and invite your friend for it. Switch your current outfit one time to the right and ready up to play. Now open up your interaction menu, then go to style, go to accessory and change your random gear, then quit the mission to your phone. So when you're back in online, you can make your way over to your wardrobe to save the outfit. So over here by the intimidation mask, I'll be choosing the pink floral tech demon mask. So you can only get this with the GTA Plus membership. If you don't have this mask, you can also use any other mask of your choice. I'll be also putting some spy gauntlet on the outfit on the left and on the right side. You can get this by the clothing store. Now the outfit is done and now you can save it in any slot that you want. So this was the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and I see you all later, bye bye!